One wrong location, and six months of planning is wiped out. And yet with no GPS, no maps, bears make these life or death decisions based purely on instinct. The margin of error is razor thin, another shocking fact. Bears don't defecate during hibernation. For six months, there's zero waste. Instead, they form something called a fecal plug. Yes, it's real. A dense, hardened mass that forms in the colon to prevent any waste from exiting the body. When spring arrives, this plug is expelled as one of the first acts after waking. It sounds disgusting, but it's a vital part of their survival. Without this biological plug, infection or dehydration could end them in their sleep. The cubs of hibernating bears are born blind, hairless, and completely vulnerable. And yet in the pitch black of a snowy den, mothers nurture them while remaining mostly asleep. They nurse, shift positions, and protect their young without fully waking. It's a feat of multitasking, unlike anything in the animal world. Mother bears don't eat, drink, or move for the entire time they're caring for these newborns. It's the ultimate sacrifice. What happens when spring arrives? It's not a gentle wake up. The bear's body must reboot, organs ramp up, muscles twitch back to life. Digestion restarts after months of dormancy. The tension is palpable, will their body respond? Will they find food in time? The first few days are critical. Weak bears often collapse before they can hunt. Others go straight to rivers or forests, risking predators just to survive. Even after waking, the bear doesn't go back to normal instantly. Her metabolism takes days to stabilize. Too much food too fast could kill them. So they forage carefully, testing small meals. Berries, roots, maybe a carcass if they're lucky. So their body is fragile, like glass just out of the freezer. One wrong move, and it could shatter, 